When that eagle was hatched amongst all them chickens, he was a funny bird. He couldn't understand the clucking of the hen. It didn't talk like this, like he wanted to hear it talk. And she scratched in the barnyard, eat from the barnyard. It wasn't food for him. He was an ugly duckling among them. The hen had clucked and he didn't understand it. She'd go this way and eat this and eat that. He didn't understand it. So one day his mammy, or mother rather, did it. <laughs> I did we're in the south, we say mammy. So anyhow, he, his, 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 his mother uh, knows she had two eggs. Only one of them was there. She went after the other one. She circled ever across the country, and finally she flew over the barnyard. She seen him down there following that old hen. She screamed, Junior, you're not a chicken, you're an eagle. That sounded just right to him. Why? He was an eagle to begin with. When a man or woman is set under a crazy and cold formal religion, if he's ordained to be a son of God and he sees the word of God preached in his power and God vindicated, he's an eagle to begin with. He'll run to it as sure as two twos is for. Can't help it. Because his very nature loves the word of God. I don't care what anybody else says when he sees the word of God being made manifest, he flies to it. Because he the little eagle as he go on to say, he said, Mama, I'm going to get up from here. And he said, just make a jump. I'll catch you. <laughs> That's the only thing you have to do is make one jump to your feet, one jump to God, one promise. Lord Jesus, I believe you with all my heart. I believe the message of the hour. I see it confirmed and I know it's right. Jump to your feet. Mama, I'll catch you. Don't worry. You're an eagle. She'll be right there to get you.